Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, and today I just wanted to bring you a quick guide for Red Dead Redemption 2 and how you can fix some of the stuttering in this game, specifically with the Vulcan API. If you missed it, I did a video a few days ago when Red Dead launched testing DirectX 12 versus Vulcan, and it sure showed basically no difference in terms of performance, although Vulcan seemed to be utilizing less of the CPU and uh, DX12 needed a little bit more CPU power in order to be able to run the game. But in terms of actual frame rates, the performance was basically identical. However, frame times are another story, and a lot of people have been reporting stuttering and hitching when trying to use the Vulkan API, and I even mentioned this in my graphics settings video and recommended people to go ahead and use DirectX 12. But now I have come across a fix for um, basically taking care of those frame times and getting something that is much more consistent, which will definitely help improve the overall smoothness of when you are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And this definitely helps a lot when it comes to AMD graphics cards. I did try testing it with a touring card as well, and it definitely helped smooth out some of those frame times and the stuttering. And also, I noticed that the game has not crashed for me yet since I switched over to the Vulcan API. I put about two hours onto the game um, playing with Vulkan with this fix enabled, which is basically to turn on async compute, which is a completely hidden option. It's not in the actual uh, game options menu. You have to do it in the config file for Red Dead Redemption 2. But if you're seeing here on the side by side, uh, you could see that when it comes to comparing the frame time specifically, if you look at that graph there at the bottom, you'll notice that on Vulcan, there are a lot of erratic spikes up and down and the milliseconds can jump anywhere from seven to 10 to 12 to 16. It's kind of all over the place. While with async on, it's pretty much a steady line all the way across with async compute enabled for Red Dead Redemption 2. So I feel like for most people out there, this is probably gonna be a fix you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and utilize to get the smoothest experience as possible. As we all know, the performance in Red Dead Redemption 2 is not fantastic. So uh, anything we can really do to get this game running smoother and better at the end of the day is going to be a good thing. And also, as I mentioned, crashing has been an issue with this game ever since it came out. Obviously, this is not gonna work with um, crashes for the launcher or anything like that, but I've been having a lot of crashes on DirectX 12 where I'll just be playing the game. A couple times it was like when I was literally just about to complete a mission in the single player and the game would crash out. So yeah, if using the Vulkan API though so far with this async compute enabled, it has fixed the game significantly for me and I hope that it does for you guys as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot over to the desktop here and I'll show you guys how you can go ahead and apply async compute. So you're gonna to wanna to come into your file explorer and then click on your documents on the left-hand side. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to your Rockstar Games folder. And then from there, go into Red Dead Redemption 2 and then into the settings folder. And you're gonna come down to the bottom file here, which is system.xml. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and right click on that and come down to open with and open it up with Notepad or Notepad++ if you're using that, if you have that as an option. And that's gonna bring you into the simple Notepad text editor where you can see all the different graphics options that are in the game and the values for them. And the thing that we're gonna be searching for in here is the async compute enabled value, which you could see right now by default, this is going to be set to false. And as I said, this is not in the game options menu at all. For whatever reason, they decided to omit this um, from the game options. You know, for, like I said, I, I can't really um, figure out why they would go ahead and do that, but it is disabled by default. So to enable it, you're just going to go ahead and remove the text that says false and add in the word true. And then you could just click file and save it. And that's pretty much all you got to do. And once you go ahead and relaunch, Red Dead Redemption 2, you will have async compute enabled. And as I said, with AMD cards, it has smoothed out that frame timeline significantly. I'm not seeing any more stutters or hitching. And then consequently, I guess the Vulcan API seems to be more stable in terms of crashing. So it's helped me out there as well as I was using the 5700 XT um, for, this, for this comparison here that you're seeing with the async compute on uh, versus off. I was just using a reference model 5700 XT on the latest driver from AMD, which I believe is 19.11.1, if I'm not mistaken. And when it came to touring cards, it helped out there as well, although not as much. I didn't see as as big a uh, you know improvement with the frame times, but it, it's definitely helping out the AMD cards quite a bit. So if you go ahead and try this fix and it works out for you, let me know down in the comments below. 
And if, and if it doesn't work out for you, let me know in the comments below as well. But this definitely seems to have helped, helped me out quite a bit uh, in getting this game to run smoothly on my PC as well as on AMD cards in the test rig. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. If you enjoyed this video or learned something at all, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it down below. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you've been here for a while, go ahead and ring that notification bell. That way you never miss a moment of content as soon as it goes up live on the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Tara.